It is Friday, March 31st, and an update came out recently. And this is not like an ISO you download. You probably already have 6.50a if you've kept your machine up with the latest, and that's build 488-7370 that came out in February. Or version 6 or 6.5, the initial release. Doesn't really matter. This upgrade procedure should work for all of them. Specifically, I tested from here to here, this build, 5224934. So this video is not about walking you through all the prereqs that I've already followed. It's about the actual upgrade and what it looks like. So I'm gonna get right down to business here. Let's, uh, well, first log in. So we gotta get a putty session open. So get SSH going with your favorite SSH client, whatever that is. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can see exactly what it looks like, the whole process. And triple clicking on the line of code gets the whole thing highlighted, then right click copy, and then right click paste. It's that easy. Triple click, right click copy, right click paste. So I'm going to again uh, just politely point out that you want to have done all the prereqs, including shut down any VMs or any workload that you care about on this host. Why? Because you are going to reboot it. Now this particular machine has no workload of any consequence. I'll go ahead and log in and show you the before and after. Let me get that logged in here on the other screen while the patch is happening. So right now it's pulling down from the internet because I have a firewall rule that allows it internet access. So yes, this video is assuming you have properly configured DNS that if you type NSLOOKUP, it's a public IP uh, or host name or server name on the web, that that would actually work. So that's important to point out. Okay, so now it finished. It was that quick in real time. I didn't click anything or cheat or do anything different. Um, so yeah, we're moving from this build, 488-7370, just like I had mentioned. What else is there to do? There's a third line. Triple click, right click, copy, right click, paste and type reboot and hit enter. That's it. Soon the putty session will die and you would expect that. And the local video, the familiar yellow screen, DCUI, will also uh, show a reboot and then the machine will be restarted. So first we're probably gonna see putty die then we're gonna see the server actually rebooting. Now I have it set to gracefully shut down any VMs that may have been running, just point that out. So it's gonna take a little longer. And there we go, putty die just as expected. All these bundles and packages, by the way, they're updated. I have that in my article. So you can control F and look for what you care about. And you'll see um, some VIBs were installed, some removed, and then a whole lot skipped. That's what, part of why it was so fast. So we can close putty because that's you know useless now. We can close the command line where I opened up putty from. And now we're just waiting for this user interface to show us the server has actually begun to reboot. And when it's done, I'll resume this video recording and we'll check how things look. This build number at the top here should change. Ah. It would help if I had the right server there. All right, so I probably missed the reboot. I can't record this video easily over again because uh, actually my other machine is patched. So I made a mistake. No problem. It's gonna show us the server anyway even if we did miss a simple reboot. Okay, so here comes the local UI of the server, meaning the VGA output if you were standing in front of the machine. And there it is, uh, booting back up. No problem. All right, what do the directions say? Well, if you had maintenance mode, you'd wanna do that next. I had no VMs running, so I didn't really need to worry about that. So these directions are you know, carefully written and uh, just be take care to follow every step. All right, so when it's back up, I'll resume the video 
and then we'll just check that it looks like this as it's supposed to. We can already see this screen matches. 4529. How about this screen? We don't know yet because the machine is not yet done rebooting. Ah, no need to pause the video. We're just doing one straight cut here tonight. Ready to go in and have a look. And there it is. We now have this server at 1567. Uh, there we go, 522. five two nine so that's a wrap i'm done with the patch naturally uh, there are some other concerns about drivers and maybe back level of hci if you've had drivers you had to tweak in the past you do want to be aware of some of those possible issues and i cover that here also in the article so as always read the whole article first then consider patching in a lab that's been backed up thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com